Welcome everybody back to my channel and anybody that's new, welcome. Please make sure you like and subscribe. So today we're gonna be doing the Jenga block boat uh, shelf stand. Um, I can't find the Dollar Tree, I'll exp I explain that later in the video. Um, but I'm gonna just use these ones. I did use 144 blocks I used from Dollarama. I used just over three boxes. In total, it was 144. I believe these ones were like 42. I'm not sure what's in the Dollar Tree. I think it's 48 in the Dollar Tree, so you might get away. You'll probably get away with three boxes. So let's move on, and I'm gonna actually lay out the Jenga blocks first, and then I'll show you what we'll do. If you hear any banging in the background, it's just my neighbors are doing some construction, so you might hear some banging as we go along. So my Dollar Tree doesn't carry uh, the dollar, the Jenga blocks very often or else they sell out within hours. So I'm gonna use, and I believe these are very compar comparable to the DT ones. They're actually a lot smaller than the ones that I have built with the other Jengas for my truck, my camper. What else did I do? My truck, my camper, and my barn. So these were the ones I was using, um, which were just the regular size Jenga blocks. And these are the smaller ones I was able to find. So I believe these are the same size as Dollar Tree, but I did get these at Dollarama. They're just the smaller box, the smaller size. So these are the ones I'm gonna to use today. I don't have the measurements of the Dollar Tree ones, but I believe these ones are gonna be very, very, very close. So I'm, I know on the screen right now, um, you can't see the top of the boat. How we're gonna start it, so I've done, now you can make it any size you want. So the bottom part here is gonna be the stand where I'm gonna have it standing. I have 11 on the bottom. I have 25 and 25. Now I'm just gonna move my camera here so you can see the tip. There we go. So that's the top part. So I'm just gonna kind of do it like angled and then angled in with the base. Now there's two ways you could do it. I played around. So you could do them this way all the way around the flat, but I decided to do it this way. Only it'll give a nice smoother finish. When you do them this way, it's gonna be, this is how wide the stand will be on the inside. Oops. The other way would have been, I think, believe flat five blocks stacked up and it would be just, the, the curve wouldn't be very, I don't think very nice. This is a more of a smooth finish. So 25, 25, 50, and then there's um, 11 on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this glue. You can use the E6000, which I really like. But since I used this for the barn, the well barn, I got it at Rona. I just love it. It doesn't dry like right away, but it also gives you time if you need to move it to put it together. I would su not suggest using hot glue. Uh, hot glue dries too fast. And I don't think it would hold up too well unless you want to use the Gorilla Glue Sticks, which can be expensive, especially if you're gonna use a lot of glue. So how I'm gonna do it is I'm actually gonna build the back layer first, and I'm gonna do it on an angle. There will be a tip here, as you will see. I'll show you what we'll do with that at the end. You're just gonna angle them out. Now I suggest like I did all the way around, is place them how I have and get to this design, like shape you want. And as you, I would just take one out and I would start gluing that way as you can shape it because you wanna make sure when you're doing it, you shape the other side so it's not lopsided or angle. Plus when you're doing it, you can actually move them as you go along to make sure that they get a nice smooth finish when you do that. And then you put the bottom on and you'll glue that one section. So I'm just gonna glue this one section. I'm gonna give it a couple hours. We'll come back and we'll move on to the next step. Now I let this dry. It's still not fully dry. It's getting there. It's almost fully dry as you can see, but I don't wanna stand it up yet. So what we're gonna do 
is we're gonna do another layer on top. So I did glue the bottom already just to, in together a, a 10 piece, which will be attached to the base, but I will attach that last because I'm just gonna put, <clears throat> excuse me, more blocks where I'm gonna glue it on the sides and bottom, right along the pattern of the boat, which is all the way around, and then attach this on the bottom. And then I'm gonna let, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that. I'm gonna let it dry overnight so it can get a good finish and be solid. And then we will move on. I'm just gonna show you the top here. So the top here, we will do something with that, but that will be our next step after I finish gluing the second part onto it. Now, I see the weld bond works really well when you're doing it, because as I glued it, I shaped it, and I just made sure I went along the sides that I actually was straight along the sides and gave it a nice curve. Even the bottom has a little bit of a gap here, but that's okay. We can always fill that in, we're not gonna notice it. And then we will fill in this top part with um, with some material after. And then I'll show you how we're gonna do the back. So I'm gonna put more glue, do the second side, and then we'll come back and move on to the next step. Okay, so I let it dry overnight and it's totally solid. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna use some clay I just had some from the Jenga block barn that I did. And I'm just gonna squeeze it. I'm just gonna try to make a peak on it so that it's kind of like, uh, how can I say, pointy. I'm just gonna show you. So when I do put, uh, this is way too small for what I wanna do, but just so you know what I mean. Let's see if we can do it over this way. So, you can, so that it just covers to a pointy edge. So I'm just gonna do that all the way down with clay and let that dry. While I have that drying, I will keep the stand on its side. I'm just gonna see here. So I'm gonna show you the bottom because I'm gonna put one shelf in. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. You might wanna just put, uh, don't forget you're gonna, I'm just gonna put this board here. So I plan on having that little diamond I just showed you. Obviously it's the angle is gonna be, but we'll worry about that after. Um, probably around there. So I am just gonna put one shelf in. You can put mini shelves. Um, you know, maybe you just wanna do a smaller, a smaller shelf on, I'm just showing you here, like on one side. or you know do one a little higher it's just you have to make sure that it's angled properly but and you'd have to put it on the back so it depends you know what you really want to do but i'm just going to do the one shelf so i figured out how i'm going to do it i'm just going to show you the one level let's see if i can move this over here without it all so it doesn't no it's, oh, of course it does. it's not set up yet so i got there's three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, that'll be 11. That'll be 11 times two because I'm gonna do it double so it's level outwards. You just gotta move it around. So what I will do is glue the 11 outside of it, making sure it's flat, and then I will stick it in and glue it where the higher level is on the sides and then put it in that it will be flushed. But I will do another layer up. So it'll be 11, so it'll be 22 to make a shelf. And I will probably glue it on the back when we do the back part, just so it has a little bit of hold. But putting on there and using the well bond is really works really well. So that's what I'll keep to that. So that's what I'm gonna do off camera. I'm gonna glue 22 of these on the bottom, or for the shelf. I'm gonna put the clay on the top and then we will move to the next step. Okay, so I put the clay on, I let it dry, and then I took one of those file blocks and I filed it on both sides. So as you can see that it's on a pointed angle. So the next thing, 
we're gonna do, and I'm just gonna move this out of the way. So I have this piece of cardboard, and as you can see, I traced it for the back. So what I did was I put it level. I tr traced on the outside, not on the inside, because it, it's gonna cover, as you know, the back is a little bit thicker, so it'll be able to glue it nicely on there. As you can see, I already did the outline. So I'm gonna cut that out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try painting the back of the cardboard. I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not. I'm actually just using stain that I've used for my Jenga blocks and my camper. Uh, it's just wood stain that I use for my fence and I think I have enough left. I'm just gonna give it a coat and then we will come back. So I thought the color turned out really well on it. I only did the one coat on it. And I did underneath on the inside. It dried pretty fast. The stain worked pretty well. I did cut out the back lining of it, as you can see, and I painted that. So the next step, and I just put it on the back and placed it just to make sure if it was cut um, a little bit, just a little bit so it's not sticking out on the sides. Next thing we'll do is I'm going to just use my well bond glue. I'm going to put it along the edges, and I'm going to let it dry flat like this. Uh, just line it up. I know I can't show you in the whole video the way the angle of the camera is. And then the next step would be, I, I, I actually did cut a piece. I actually wanted to do this on the top of the, more like, you know, when you see a boat that has the bow on it. I don't know if you call it, that's what you call it. But I wanted to put that on it. So I painted that. I will glue that on as well while the bottom is drying. And then I'm going to put some trivets on it just along the sides right there to give it a little bit of character. These uh, pearls, the flat pearls, they're just stickers I got from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of three, three different sizes. I've used one for another project. I don't know what but I painted it black on that one. So I think I'm just gonna probably use the middle size ones. The, this was the bigger one, but I just wanted to show you, and I'm just gonna place them along the edge there, uh, and I will paint those black, but you can do them any color, whatever, you know, you wanna change up the color. You don't even have to do this a stain. You could do your own color if you wanted to do white. You could add an extra shelf. It'll just be a little bit harder one more on the angles here, but it's really up to you. So let me just uh, get this glued on and we'll move on to the next step. So I wanted to add uh, paddles to the sides of, side of the stand for the boat. So I found these at Dollar Tree. They're the bamboo turners. They're in the kitchen section. I thought pretty close to looking like a paddle. What I wanted to do is cut this off. Now the mini Jengas, you know the ones that are really the smallest ones you can get at DT. I actually just took a file and filed the corners so there's more small, soft and smooth as opposed to the super square. I'm gonna glue it on top. I am gonna paint them the same color I painted the shelf just with the wood stain paint I have. So I'll glue that on top. And then I wanna add some jute rope. I'm gonna show you one that I've already finished because I played around with it for a bit. Then I just wanna wrap it around. So what I've come to, I did paint one already. I did add glue the top on it and put the jute rope. So I'm gonna put those on the side of the, the boat. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the end product. So I did omit the trivets on there. I was gonna put them on there. And I decided to go with an anchor with some jute rope. I did a, a wheel for the boat on the inside, just added some jute rope as well. I did have the little chairs from my camper that I, the Jenga camper that I did, and just thought I'd add some bobbers and like a fishing rod since it's a, a boat. I also just made the anchor, looked at a picture and just had a bunch of wine corks that I was gonna use for a craft and decided to make that. The life-saving device is just a white foam wrapped with some red jute rope, some stickers. And where the wood is with the little bird on top is actually just pool noodles. And I just wrapped it with contact paper that you can buy from Dollar Tree. And I just wrapped it with jute rope as well. Thank you for watching. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you soon.
Bye.